Welcome to Kilmarnock, which, according to this sign, is Scotland's most improved town. The football team got promoted from the championship. They won the championship last season, and just check out the last time I watched Kilmarnock play. Yeah, that was an incredible game against Arbroath in which it could have gone either way for either team. But Kilmarnock ended up going up and getting back into the Premiership where they've been for the vast majority of the past few decades. I think it was their first relegation down to the Championship for almost 30 years, I want to say, if my memory serves me correctly. But as you saw from that sign, Kilmarnock, Scotland's most improved town, are the football team, Scotland's most improved football team. They could have a really good season this season. They've got some good players in their squad, one of whom I will be interviewing today, Fraser Murray. He was in the Championship Team of the Year last year and played really, really well in that final game against our broth that I saw. So let's head on down to Rugby Park and chat to the man himself. While I'm just waiting for um, some of the media guys to get me, and we'll chat to Fraser in a bit, just look how big of a club Killiart look. Scottish Ch Cup champions, 1920, then in 29 again. They are one of just a small handful of clubs to have been full league champions of Scotland, the top tier. Scottish Cup again in 97, that's the League Cup over there in 2012. And then, more recently. Fantastic season last season, wasn't it? If you could just explain how long you've been here at Killy and how last season went for you. Uh, so I came here when was it? last season, start of last season. And uh, I was moved there from Hibs, I was there from when I was about eight years old, I think. So yeah. it was different, moving teams like that. But uh, no, last season was probably one of the best years of my life. Yeah. To be fair, obviously winning the league and uh, the way it ended up, I think it couldn't have happened in a better way. So yeah, that final, it. not final day of the season, but penultimate, wasn't it, against yeah, Arbroath? Uh, final yeah. game of the season. So and just it. explain how it feels then to have that winner's medal and lift the trophy in front of like a full rugby park. No, it was amazing. I think yeah. uh, after the first half, there was a bit of uh, yeah. animosity about the place we weren't winning. Then uh, as soon as the second half started and we got that first goal, I think everyone knew that we were going to go on and win it. Yeah. And uh, celebrations after it. And so we've spoken about the team there, obviously winning the championship. And then for you personally, you're in the team of the season. And I've got a quote here from the um, SPFL website. I don't want to make you blush or anything, but here we go. Look, so signed from Hibernian in the summer, Murray's maiden rugby park campaign has been a remarkable success. A player equally as comfortable playing on the left or right flank, Murray's pace and creativity made him a championship fullback's nightmare in 21-22. Nine goal contributions and many outstanding displays. The 23-year-old is one to keep an eye on in next season's premiership. Does your individual success like that, being in the team of the season, does that inspire you? Yeah, absolutely. I think as well as the team success, I think you want to look at yourself as well to give yourself some team towards maybe that would be what double figure goals assists at the end yep. of the season 
as well as helping the team and hopefully winning the league as it was last year. So also that's, that was good to yeah. get the team of the year last season. And so you'd, in your earlier sort of career at Hibs, you played a handful of Premiership games um, when you were a little bit younger. But then you had a loan to Dunfermline, yeah. if I'm right in saying, and then you obviously came to Killy. Both the loan and then coming to Killy were in the Championship. Do you think going down to the second tier has made you a better player for this season when you'll be back in the Premiership again? Yeah, 100%. I think. When I went on loan to Dunfermline, I think that was the perfect time to go and uh, got the experience being out on loan there. I think that helped me last season as well. Uh, obviously, play, already played in the Championship for a year. So I kind of knew like, going away, away to our bros, Queen of the South, yeah. so they're tough games. So having that kind of experience the year before helped me last year. Last year. As you can see behind you, look, we were just saying, laughing about you being front and centre there and here as well in the, uh, in the championship winning photo. But how have the preparations been for the Premiership season? Yeah, great. I think we had, we've had about nine, ten games. I think we had five friendlies and obviously we played in the League Cup and uh, we went away to Marbella. Had two good games against Lincoln nice. Redamps and Charlton and mm -hmm. drew one and won the other one against Charlton. So cool. now we've been preparing well. I think we're ready to go now after the League Cup. And you scored a free kick against Fraserburgh. That's quite impressive. But you've had a bit of a niggle this week, is that right? But you should be back for back fit and firing for the weekend. You yeah, think? back back to on Tuesday. So perfect. Has to be back fit and uh, hopefully be involved in the game on Saturday. And in the Premiership this season, are there any players that you're really looking forward to playing against? Uh, a few, a few. Or maybe not so much. <laughs> <laughs> not so much. No, I'm looking looking forward to going back and obviously playing against Hibs. Mm -hmm. Uh, still know quite a few of the boys there, so it'd be nice, nice to be back there. Yeah. And uh, obviously playing against the likes of Rangers Celtic, uh, some of the players that they have, so it'll be good to challenge myself against them. And so you want to challenge yourself, obviously, against the defenders, because you're obviously an attack-minded player. Is there anyone that you'd share the pitch with at maybe Celtic and Rangers that you'd look at and sort of want to aspire to maybe be like? Uh, a few. Probably Rangers, mostly Ryan Kent. I think he played yeah, the same yeah. position. Yep. And uh, like to try and be attacking, kind of thing, get goals. So the way he plays for Rangers, kind of thing, I'd like to try and replicate what he does. Nice. And we were talking earlier about um, your time in the Championship, giving you a bit of a uh, bit of good experience with the Premiership. You're talking about going to your Arbroath, your Queen of the Souths. Is there any stadiums that you're really looking forward to playing in next season? Uh, well, going back to Easter Road. Uh, that would be good. Obviously, I've only played there when I was played for Hibs, so kind of being the away team would be would be a good yep. experience. Being the away dressing room, yeah. yeah. And obviously, Rangers, South Ibrox and Parkhead, that would be good as well. I think Tynecastle as well always brings a good atmosphere there, so yep. I think all the kind of grounds would be good. Who would you say was your football idol growing up? Football idol? Uh, it probably seems I've driven Lionel Messi, but I kind of liked... Lampard, Gerrard, kind of thing. Obviously, watching a lot of English football when you're yeah. younger, so kind of looked up to them. Any Scottish players? Scottish players, don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, and which team did you support growing up? Uh, Rangers. So my family they're from the East End of Glasgow. So yeah, I perfect. Support the same team as your dad, isn't it? Who's the best player you played with? Played with. It'd be John McGinn. John McGinn. Yeah. Oh, was that played in your hips days? Yeah. Hips. Oh, amazing. He's just been named captain at Villa as yeah, well. Yeah. And. Best player you played against? Played against uh, Stephen Davis. Stevie Davis. When would that have been? Of that? Uh, two, or three years ago. Oh, okay. I'd probably say Willie Gibson for Queen of the South. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I played against him. Can't, can't get by him. So. Really? Kicking you up the pitch <laughs> was he? Uh, um, high point of your career? Uh, winning the league, definitely. I think that's quite an easy, yeah. easy question for you to answer. And what about the low point of your career? Low point, probably. Going through a few injuries at Hibs, kind of had a few groin injuries, kind of never really saw, saw the end of it, yep. and uh, then never really got much game time there, so probably that.
you would have seen yesterday, I yeah. put a tweet out, put it on my Instagram story, asked the Killy fans to ask you their questions. Yeah. So here we go, right, so Scott has asked, haggis or black pudding with a fry up? Neither, but I've had to choose black pudding. Really, neither, yeah. wow, okay. But you're Scottish, so. Oh, I put it in, I've had a roll, I've had a roll tatty scone and a square sausage, I've put that on, but a I've just had a, a full English or a fry up, I wouldn't have it on it. Fair enough, mate, fair enough. How many days after winning the league last year were you hung over? That's Gordon, who's our self. A good few still now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. still now. <laughs> um, Lee has asked, what does he like to order from the chippy? Not, nothing for the chippy. Nothing, oh, never. Nothing for us. Be a saucy supper. So no chippy and no haggis and no black pudding? No fan of chippy. If to get a take, you'd be an Indian. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, okay. He's also wished us best, uh, all the best for the for the new season. Uh, this is a picture question. Captain Conker, how class was this moment? Best moment of my life so far. Was that at the end of the That was our both game, right? I Blair scored and everyone just ran to the corner. Yeah. Embrace Captain the Conker. Aye. Like, what a legend. Um, and then from Instagram, Craig has asked, what are the best and worst changing rooms? The best and worst changing rooms? Away changing rooms. Oh, away changing yeah, yeah. rooms. The well, last season, Getting changed at uh, Morton, we had to get changed in our port cabin. Okay, the yeah. Toilet was outside. Oh, I suppose they've changed a bit because of COVID. I feel uh, like, haven't they? Yeah. Did you have to come up the stand and then down yeah. the? Yeah, I, I've seen that. Yeah. Uh, the best, probably. I think the best was. Kilmarnock excluded, of course. Part Partick were decent. Partick oh, Thistle. Good okay, cool. Teams, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Um, Liam has asked: Mbappe or Haaland? Haaland. Harland, why? Play, played against them. Oh, I'll say I played against them. I was in the bench. Oh, really? Where, what was the, uh, when was that? Scotland 19s, yeah, right, against Norway. Norway what was the score? Did he score? Yeah, I think we were winning 3 1 up until the last 10 minutes and he scored 3, so I was just sitting there watching. That yeah. sounds very Harland, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Logie is asked, can he get a happy birthday since he turns 15 today? Happy 15, Logie. There you go, and I think. Yeah, that's all the questions, mate. So just finally from me and to all the Killy fans, what can they expect from you and the team this season, do you think? Hopefully push as high up the table as we can, top six, and uh, win, win a lot of games. And uh, hopefully I score a lot of goals and we'll both be happy. So we've had some really, really big names on the channel recently. Obviously Cy Ferry in the last video, the open goal match at Cowden Beef. And now Fraser Murray, I think he's going to have a really, really good season. Um, saw him play last year, really impressed, especially in that Arbroath game um, and team of the year, of course. He's only 23, so room to kick on as well. Obviously, one of the younger players um, in the squad, Kilmarnock, managed by Derek McInnes, really good manager. Um, so I hope he does really well personally. Um, I've done a few of these videos before with players like Dylan Easton, Robbie Dees, um, and they were both gone on to do really well. I think they were both in their respective team of the years last year. Um, I've obviously had Joe Cardle on the channel once or twice. He was in the League Two team of the year. Nathan Austin, I think, was in League Two team of the year, as well as a few of the other Kelty boys. Um, I want to say, oh, there's a few other players that escape my mind now that every time I seem to interview them, they end up in team of the year or doing really, really well. So um, obviously Fraser was in team of the year last year in the championship. If he can do it in the Prem, that'd be unbelievable. Um, so yeah, all the best to him. And I hope he has a great season and to Kilmarnock as well. Seen, I think, three games here, four if you count the Junior Cup final, Orkin Lech Tolbert um, at the end of last season. So I really like coming to Rugby Park. I always get a really good reception from you guys. So a huge thank you, Kilmarnock fans. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, how do you think you'll get on this season? Let me know in the comments section below how you think Killy will do. Killy fans or maybe non-Killy fans as well. I know there'll be a lot of non-Killy fans watching this. Um, how do you think the Premiership will go this season? Are you all excited for it to start? I can't wait for it to start. Um, I'll be going to the opening Premiership game of the season. And then I'm just going to be covering loads and loads of games, as you can imagine, just as I did last year as well, all throughout the Scottish Pyramid from top to bottom. I absolutely love it. As you know, I've got non-league stuff planned. I've got lower league stuff planned within the SPFL. And hopefully I'm going to be able to watch loads and loads of games in the Premiership and here at Kilmarnock as well. Again, let me know in the comments section below how you think Kilmarnock will get on and the other teams within the division in the Premiership. Like I say, I am buzzing for the 
season to start, the Premiership season to start. A huge thank you to Scott and to Greg for sorting this out for me today. Uh, two guys at Kilmarnock have been fantastic with me um, for filming content um, during my time. So yeah, really looking forward to seeing the season start. Please hit that like button. Please do subscribe if you're new as well. I'll leave some videos on screen. If you could click one to carry on watching, that'd be amazing. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.